You're right there, guys, and welcome to the fastest player in fee in 97 pace, and he's not the fastest player. What is going on? Who is faster than him? I already know. I checked. Ronaldo, 98 pace Ronaldo, which is bonkers. Anyway, what can we call him? The Sweat King. Is that even technically true? Who is the sweatiest player on any FIFA? Would it be a Bon Lahore, Darren Ben, Ibarbo, Giovinio? Giovinio? Giovinio. Yeah, it's Giovinio. Let me know. I think it's probably Walcott, to be honest. I remember using Walcott. He had four-star skills back in the day. I'm pretty sure he did. Drop a like anyway, guys, on the video. A lot of you asked me to check out Man of the Match Walcott. He cost me a bomb, and I wanted to see if he could do some jobs in the weekend league. <laughs> Smash the likes. If you need any game codes or anything game-related, head up to G2A.com. Use the code Fuji for cashback. Let's get straight into the video. So I know a few of you guys will question what I'm doing with the bench, and there's honestly not really much to it. Last night, there was a daily knockout tournament to meet the requirements of a four-star team using all goal players. And I was needing to qualify for the weekend league on my main account, so I thought, all right, I'll give it a go. I was wanting to use this exact team, and unfortunately, it was four and a half star. So I went into Division 1 and qualified that way. And I have a few people asking me the same question. How do we qualify through divisions? If you get promoted from Division 2 to Division 1, that will give you the token. And if you keep Division 1, so for a full season, I think it's maybe like 18 points or something like that. You just have to play in Division 1 and yeah, keep it. So that's how you qualify through divisions. It's not that hard, but... It is hard, I'm not going to lie. It is difficult. If you get promoted from Division 2 to Division 1, that's the easiest way. So yeah, do it like that. Anyway, the theme for today's episode is to really have a look at Theo Walcott, break him down. Is he better than Sterling? Play of the month Sterling, because for his price, 380,000 coins, I'm sure a lot of you have unlocked Sterling. And as there are so many other options in the Premier League, just to name a few, we've got Mane, Inform Mane, um, Willian, there are definitely, I just can't think of any, but yeah, Willian, Mane, Walcott, Sterling, yeah, we've got some competition there, so is 380,000 coins a good price for Theo Walcott? Eight games, 10 goals, three assists, doesn't really, doesn't really tell you the story of what he's doing in game, 97 pace, obviously that's a ridiculous stat, 87 shot is very high, 82 passing, 87 dribbling, and what I was interested in, out of all of the stats, that 75 physical, because with the chemistry style of finisher, that bumps it up to 80 strength in game, so that also increases his shooting, which is uh, which is pretty decent. So going through the main team, we are using the 4-3-2-1 formation, and the way the team played, there was definitely room for improvement. The way I built it, it was very attacking, and especially Ben Arthur in that centre mid position, he wasn't really suited, and come 75th, 80th minute, his stamina levels were really, really poor. In goal, though, we have Juanligi Buffon. A lot of people don't like the card, and I can understand that. He does make some silly mistakes. I've been using him a lot recently, and some of the saves that he is pulling off, especially in the Road to Glory episode, he was all right. Like, I think I think he's decent. He definitely isn't one of the best, so just keep that in mind if you're wanting to use him. Right back position, Florenzi, awesome. Manolas that I've been using a lot, and I love his tackling. Chiellini, the new in-form, 89 rated with those stats, and I ha I'd have to say, you can just really feel his strength. Lauren Blanc's fantastic, but Chiellini, when he's shoulder to shoulder, he is coming away with the ball, which I love. Uh, Kozawa in the left back position, Ben Arthur as the attacking centre mid, but he wasn't really doing that much of the defensive work. We do have Kante in the side though, and Nayan Golan. It was lacking a little bit of height in the midfield, I've got to be honest. Walker, obviously, right wing position. Jamie Vardy for that added sweat, and the trusty, reliable Martial in that left wing position. So the custom tactics that I actually use... Are I didn't use this in Division 1, but in the weekend league it was working, so all three are obviously getting behind. And then I told, I don't know why this isn't said, did I change the formation? I think I did change the formation before I uh, recorded this video. I had Walcott to drift wide, and it was really working quite well. As he is so goddamn quick, he can just spread the play, he can cut inside, and doesn't really... It doesn't really affect um, your play building up. It actually helps there. That, that's just the way I felt anyway. Because he's so quick, I may as well use that to, to my advantage. But with the midfielders, obviously, the middle one has got to stay back while attacking. And the two fullbacks are to stay back while attacking. But we want to check what Walcott is about. Is he better than player of the month Sterling? Is he worth 380,000 coins? Let's go to the clips. So the first thing that I want to mention are Walcott's work rates. Medium, medium. Personally, I don't like this myself because it's not really telling a player of Walcott's quality to get in behind. And with that pace, you're really wanting him to make runs in behind all the time. I'm not saying that he won't. It just disrupts the play a little bit. And at times, I was having to manually trigger the run myself, which 
just isn't ideal. And if you're wondering how you do that, you press L1 if you're on PlayStation or LB if you're on Xbox. And I've got to be brutally honest, I'm selling this card on after the video and after I finished editing it. 97 pace. This has been a trend actually for many, many years and on FIFA. Some players with lower pace stats just feel a lot quicker in game. And with Walcott, although he is fast, there's nothing denying that. 97 pace on his card though, he doesn't feel as quick as it's suggesting. His finishing was fine though. When I was inside the box, he was fine in the back of the net. His weaker foot wasn't too good, but with the finesse shots outside the box, the shots across goal, I was having no problems finding the back of the net. His link up play was decent. One thing I didn't like though, his dribbling. I don't know what it is about the card, but with players on the game, if they don't have a decent skilled dribble, I don't like them. Martial, fantastic. Lacazette, awesome. Walcott, there is something holding him back, and I can't quite put my finger on it. Could be his agility, maybe his overall dribbling. There is something that with that 87 stat on his card, he doesn't feel as good as he maybe could have been. And with that pace, that dribbling is suggesting that he's a seriously good player. And for whatever reason, I couldn't really get on with him, but with his dribbling fact. His physical play though is pretty good. So if you're running and you get in behind of your opponent, you can just hold L2 or LB if you're on PlayStation. And it really does shield the man quite well, or shield the ball, I should say. And it allows Walcott a little bit more time and freedom. Him. But with his uh, ratio, like eight games, 10 goals, three assists, two of those came from the penalty spot. So overall, for 380,000 coins, if you've got yourself player of the month, Sterling, I would never, never in a million years change that. Sterling is a lot better. He's got the skill dribbling. He's got the strength. He's really, really quick. I'd, I'd have to say that Sterling feels a lot quicker than Walcott in game. So it just goes to show you that 97 pace just really doesn't feel that good. But for 380,000 coins, not only could you bring in a cheaper right winger, you could use that money to improve other players in your team like 380,000 coins for one player without the four star skill moves with a three star week for it just isn't a good buy in my opinion so hopefully the video has um, been helpful for you guys let me know if you've used Walker and if you've got on with him for me though his finishing is good but I just don't I just wouldn't spend 380,000 coins on a player who can finish well. He has to be bringing a little bit more to his game. But if you have enjoyed, guys, please do drop a like on the video. The team itself was playing okay. Definitely would change Ben Arthur out. He was playing well, just in that position. You're really needing those box-to-box -box players. But thanks ever so much for watching, and I'll see you soon. Team out. Whoops.